Alrighty. This time it's the 8SC. Whoa! No changes to suspension. Just uh, using Proline Badlands with uh, a 15 tooth pinion gear this time. Holy smoke, this thing's got speed. And that is the problem with the Badlands. As soon as they grip, they have so much side bite. Whoa! <laughs> um, as soon as they grip, they, um, they tend to tip the trucks over. I was going to use my AKAs, but I haven't used these in such a long time that I wanted to give them a go. Whoa! Um, I wanted to give them a go on this truck just to see how they went. Because Badlands are good, but if you want to drive on a track and actually put in some times around corners and things, these are probably not the best tires for you because they will tip your car over just like that. Okay, now apologies if you do get a bit of wind noise. Oh my God. This thing has definitely got a lot of speed now. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wow, really? Come on. All right, a couple more laps and we'll switch location. Wow, come on, man. I'm only tapping the brakes. It's too sailing everywhere. Whoa, jeez. I think I'm starting to like the stock tires better. They're a bit more forgiving. I think I like this truck better when it was they're stuck. Yeah, these tires are just too aggressive. But uh, overall, good speed, good handling. Well, except if you don't take the corners too hard. All right, let's go big. Way there we go, big stack. This thing is a tank. It's a tank. Oh, even though I cut power, that landed right on that rear bumper. But we're still good. Wind is not helping here. Oh no! Why did I hit the brakes? I'm absolutely trashing this thing right now. Are you okay? Oh my goodness. All right, the body's all right. Everything's okay. Bumper, the bumper took a massive hit before. That's all good, nothing broken. A-arms are good. Bit of grass going for a bit of a hitchhike there, but hmm, other than that, we're okay. Good to go. Come on. Oh, wow, that was not me. All right, the wind is really not helping me. But man, the extra pin, the extra few teeth on the pinion are making a huge difference to this truck. I've got a pin here, just really winding that motor up. Ah, getting rocks to my face, not fun. Right on its side, durability test to the max. And we are still going. Let's see what our <laughs> let's see what the motor temps are showing as we uh, take the body off here as quickly as possible. Body post are holding up on this one, which is good. Quickly get the temp gun out of my pocket. Uh, let's have a look. What are we showing? A hundred degrees Fahrenheit um, on the can. On the back there, we're looking at about. 90. Okay, so it looks as though just like the 10 SC, this is conservatively geared and that rear shock tower is buckled again. I just straightened it out and uh, it is once again buckled. This aluminium is not very good. Um, I have to say this is probably going to be your number one problem, uh, especially if you land sideways, upside down, inside out, you know, that's going to be the one thing that's going to annoy you. You can, of course, bend them back 
uh, but it is very, very annoying. This one seems to be holding up a lot better because it's a much shorter shock tower. There's less leverage when it gets hit, if it gets hit. Uh, but this one here, you can see from where the supports sit all the way up here, there's a lot of leverage there. And uh, yeah, this bends back very, very easily. So I don't know if about I've got an update, uh, an upgrade for this shock tower or something else to keep it straight. But you can see, it looks like a banana right now. So yeah, not impressed with that rear one. Uh, other than that, this thing's taken um, a pretty good beating and so far, well, nothing's broken. Got a bent shock tower, but that's about it. All right, let's change locations. And this thing's got to go. 15 tooth pinion. Yeah, with the wind, beautiful. Against the wind, not so great. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Man, this thing. Crazy truck. Crazy truck. Oh, even with the wind, even with the wind, it gets flipped. The rear, the rear went first because of the wind. Can you believe that? Oof. This thing's insane. Oh my god. 4S, 15 2 pinion. What can you say? This thing's an absolute beast. Too bad about the shock tower. That seems to be the only thing that's letting it down at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Yeehaw, come on, yeah. Dust clouds everywhere. Man, this thing's unreal. Like I've always said, the 1H scale systems that Habao are using are absolutely awesome. It just seems a little bit of setup, a little bit of tuning that uh, seems to be letting them down out of the box with a lot of their cars. But man, what an absolute beast! This is a weapon! Very impressed, very impressed. I'm not going to go and do big jumps. Uh, because the wind, we've got headwind and uh, I just finished driving the 10 SC and that ended up in a bit of a disaster so uh, I'm not going to try and kill this truck completely. I think it's proven its point. Um, it's definitely a good one and I'm very impressed with it so far. Gear it up, um, adjust your camber and tow when you get out of the box because that's one of its weak points and just keep an eye on that rear shock tower because if you do take some hits um, in the rear that will bend on you. That seems to be the only issue with the truck so far But that's it for this running video guys. Thank you all very much for watching uh, Please subscribe if you're new and as always don't forget to check out the video description for more information on the truck As well as links to its previous videos and links to my social media pages I thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time Okay, just motor temps um, I know that people are going to be asking what happened to the motor temps at the end of the video Okay, let's find out. Where are we at? A hundred, oh hang on, 110? So I reckon this can even go faster. Uh, 100 and, 101, somewhere around there. So that's Fahrenheit, uh, keep that in mind. So 106, I reckon this can even go a couple more teeth on opinion. Not, not that it really needs it, but um, I think there's still room to grow on this one. Very conservatively geared. All right. That's it this time. Catch you next time.